In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the LAPME Sunrise Wake Up Clock. This was provided to me by the distributor, but I'm not being paid for this video, and they're not reviewing this before I post it. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link in the description, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look at the outside, it says Smart Wake Up Light Alarm Clock. It says Search for Life Download App. On the back, we have it set, on the back it says LED Time Display, Multiple Sets of Alarm. Sunrise simulation, control by smartphone, FM radio, 20 brightness settings, sunset simulation, and easy control with voice. And it works with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So we have power adapter here. So this power adapter is five volts at two amps. So a lot of times you see like one amp. This is a little bit more powerful. We have micro USB cable here, and I measured this, this is four foot. We have a guide and a little card here from the manufacturer. It says we have two year warranty. You can get 30% off your next purchase and $5 gift card. It's everything there. And then we have the clock itself. So here we go. So you can kind of see the display here through the front. We have buttons on the top. We have a pad on the bottom. Looks like we have a backup battery, so this probably would retain your settings in your clock maybe, or maybe just the settings. And there's a speaker here, and this has a port for charging. It says output five volts, two amps. And the input is five volts. And then this antenna here is for your FM radio. So I'm in a basement, so when we try this out, I don't know if we're gonna get a good signal, but we'll try it. So there's a little tab here you can remove to activate the battery. But I'm gonna take this uh, part and I wanna see what the battery is inside of it. Okay, it's a 2032 uh, coin cell. So a cool feature about this is that it has an app that connects to Wi-Fi. So I'll plug in the power here in the back, the micro USB. And then I'll plug it into a power outlet. Okay. We have the clock on. There we go. This is very bright in here. It's a lot brighter than your typical bedroom. <laughs> I've changed the angle so we can get a little bit better view here. So the first thing we can do is set the clock. You want to hold down this clock icon here. So you want to hold down this for three seconds and then the hour will uh, flash although I need to go right back to 12. Ah, there we go. Um, and then I hit it again and it's going to go to minutes. And then I hit it again and we want, I want 12 hour and now our time set. So I hit this button here to, I hold, held that down for three seconds to start it, and then I use these to set the time. Although when we get into it, you can set that in the app. So it may not be important to do that. So this has t uh, four alarms, but two of them can be set from the device. So you can do the same thing here. You hold that down for three seconds and you can set the alarms there. So if we want to turn the light on, we can hit the button here. And that turns the light on you can adjust the intensity by hitting the plus or minus. So I can turn that down. So that's one. And that's 20. And I don't know, my phone's probably adjusting here. So let me uh, lock, let me turn it all the way up. I've locked the exposure, so now I can turn it down. So hopefully you can get a better idea of the range there. So if we double click this, it'll turn it into automatic mode. So that's just gonna uh, cycle through the colors. So 
So to turn this off, I'll double click it. So to turn the radio on, I'll hit this button here and it has volume up and down. So it's going to scan through the stations to find uh, presets and it does that automatically. Okay, so to switch stations, you just uh, long press the volume buttons. To turn off, you press radio again. So then it has a sleep timer here. It says you press this for the sleep timer. And we have 30 minutes. And then I can do plus minus to change the time on that. And if you long press this, you can do simulated sunset. Okay, so now let's connect this to the app. So the box said to download the Fur Life app, but if you look in here, it says to download the Smart Life app. So that's what I downloaded, and we'll use that to connect up to this. Okay, so I'm in the App Store, and I've searched for Smart Life, and I see the Smart Life app, and I've installed it, so I'll just hit Open here. And it says Register, so I'll hit Register. I'll agree to the privacy policy. I'll enter in my email address here. I'll hit done. It's going to give me a verification code. I'll enter that in. It's going to ask me to set a password. So I'll create a password here. I'll hit done. It asks if I want to allow this to use my location or Bluetooth. I don't think this uses Bluetooth, so I won't allow that. I'll allow it to use my location while using the app. It says add device. I'll hit add device here. I want to click on lighting. Then I want to click on lighting Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn the light off so I can see this a little better. There's a little blinking Wi-Fi icon right there. It's going to ask me to enter my Wi-Fi password. I'll do that. I'll hit confirm. And now it's initializing it. Okay, it says device added successfully. I'll hit done. And now we have our wake up light. So like, so from the app, you can have it automatically set the time. So I'll just click on the time here and it says network auto time and I'll hit check there. So this puts this on par with your smartphone or other devices that automatically set the time. You see the time there. So if the power goes out, you can um, have it automatically set the time. You don't have to go in there and fiddle with it. We can have the time display brightness. We're at night now. I'll turn to day. And there we go, now it's brighter. That's a little easier to see with the light on. And I'll hit save here, we'll go out of there. We can go into alarm one. I'll tap that alarm, I'll set that to go off at say 6.30 every day. Ring time is 15 minutes, the alarm mode is sound and light. The ring sound is a bird, the volume level is 10, the simulated sunrise time is 10, the brightness is 10 and support snooze. I'll hit save there. Okay. Oh, and then there I'll have to turn it on. So I saved it and then I had to turn it on. So you'll see that the icon here is lit up for alarm one now. If we go to the light, we can turn the light on. We can change the intensity of it. We can change the color settings. Let me see if I can get something that shows up. It's a little tricky to film this. So this is going to cycle through the colors now. I can click on settings. It says voice control name is light. So you could rename this to be something like sun or whatever. Then this is the snooze button. We can hit the settings here. It says snooze mode is sound, radio, and light, and you can change that to any of the individual things. And the snooze time is nine minutes. We can change that from 15 minutes down to eight. We have radio settings. We can turn the radio on. If I can find a station, like I say, I'm in my basement, so. We can go to settings here. We can change the voice control name here from FM radio to something else and you can adjust the volume. And when you hit search, that will search for radio stations. 
And if we go to sleep aid, it says sleep sound, 10 minutes. We'll hit, turn that on or off. We can go to settings. You can have the, let me turn that off. Go to settings. Uh, you can have the voice control name, which is sleep. The sleep mode is sleep and light. You can have sound, sound and light, radio and radio and light. The sleep sound, we have rain, forest, or river. And then the time is 10 minutes to 120 minutes, so it's two hours. The volume is set to six. You can set the volume there. You can set the brightness, the sleep time, and then supporting snooze. And then on the right there, we have the time, which we already set, which you can set by just tapping on the time. So if we go into settings here, I can go down here to Alexa, and I can sign in with Amazon. And I'll link this to my Amazon. I'll hit back. Now if I go into my Alexa app, I can hit the Alexa button, turn on light. Okay. So here we have the light turned on. Turn off light. Okay. So of course I'm just using the app. You could do this with your Amazon Dot or, or Echo Dot or whatever it is. And um, you can control your devices with this. So that's the LatMe Sunrise Wake Up Clock. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.